All right, welcome back to part four, the final concluding part of the Quit or Continue podcast of Wolfenstein. The old blood. The old blood. Uh, take it away, Jack. It's time for Little Jack's card. And he's going to take us through some of the reviews of uh, Wolfenstein, and then we're going to talk about whether yeah. we agree with them or not. And then, obviously, we'll finish by saying whether or not it's a quit or a continue. These are actual uh, publication reviews. Oh, of course. Usually yeah. it's user reviews. These are professional people. These professionals. are actually, we decided to go with publication the reviews. Oh, professionals. So, That's ironically, sorry, Jack. It's ironically what we did in the first ever episode of Wolfenstein. Oh, so memories. Memories. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, <laughs> sunset, sunrise, sunset. So basically, the reason we're doing this is because the, the user reviews on Metacritic were exceedingly dull. It's basically yeah. people saying, this was a good game and I liked it, or this was a bad game and I did not like, like it. Come on, Which is fine for them, but it's not a very entertaining podcast. So, so let me just read some of these puppies out whilst the cat is attacking Andy. Yeah, don't touch <laughs> Andy's feet, Inky. Come on. So who wants to know what the... There's nothing uh, wrong with my feet, by the way. Right. Well, but, well, the Other than they're naked. Yeah, they are <laughs> stripped of oh, You just don't see <laughs> your feet. <laughs> Come on. Look, the cat out. is walking away. <laughs> is, that, uh, is that wedding? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just dirt, <laughs> Bill. It's like Saturn's rings. It's just <laughs> crap. Let's <laughs> just try and be professional for five minutes. Okay. So who wants to hear what the Telegraph said? I'd love, I would I'd love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank God you said that, because otherwise this would have just bombed. Uh, so, bring your daughter to the slaughter. I haven't got the, I've got the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got the reviewer's name, but uh, the Telegraph said, for those that have played through the New Order and are keen for more of its beefy action, uh, this delivers around seven hours for a decent price. I'd argue that the old blood also makes the satisfying starters in the order's more substantial meal if you haven't yet had a taste. Um, and that, I know you like, you like a bit of a food analogy. I do analogy, like a you? food analogy. Yeah. Uh, a well-priced piece of downloadable content that works equally well on either side of the main game, question mark, clever. Ooh. It's like saying um, it's, it's, it's like a bite of lemon to the next game's grapefruit. Mm. Or something like that. Because it's, it's it's not the most. I'd beautiful. say that the Wolfenstein was like a dirty burger, and this is a side <laughs> of onion rings that you eat and go. That was kind of tasty, but I feel like gross now. What's a dirty burger? You know, like a, is that a sex thing? No, no, <laughs> dirty burgers. It's not like a Sanchez, a, if that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, not a sexual thing. Even though most things. Give me the dirty burger. Actually, that's weird. I most have to go straight to the gun <laughs> clinic. <laughs> For start, shut up. It's like in most things I do say that have got a sexual interpretation. Oh, Actually, that hasn't. Dirty oh. burger just means a gross burger. There's a very swanky burger joint called Dirty it's Burgers. It's, there is. There you go. Because uh, you don't get out much, Jack. We know you don't. Uh, that's what happens in uh, normal people. Is like. McDonald's still around? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is, but you can get ribs there now. McRibs. Bullshit. Yeah, rib- 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 no, you're not making this up. Oh, oh, no, I was going to say the McRib burger, which has got yeah. nothing to do with no, ribs or burgers. Yeah, it's right. called uh, rib for uh, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not, but you do find a Johnny in them from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you so do. Okay. Uh, I just pushed your phone. It's like weird. Oh, you oh, so, so, uh, a little joke's gone. Jack so, who wants points. to hear what GameSpot had to say about Wolfenstein? Please, Stein please, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, they said, The Old Blood certainly displays intelligent action FPS design that's fun and effortless to play. Just don't expect the deep examination the game hints at to go anywhere. I'm not quite sure it hints at anything like that. No. no. There's a no. man with no top on for most of the game. <laughs> There's no deepness. It hints at very poor recruitment for a stealth mission. Yeah. That's what it, well, it doesn't hint at it. It is poor recruitment for a stealth so mission. So he can't speak German. No, he can't speak German. He's built like a brick shit out of his house. Like first person shooters anyway are sort of deep and intelligent no matter what. Well, Dishonored is. Although it's arguably no, not first person shooter. Yeah. There are, I mean, Bioshock, Half Life. Well, you think it's deep and oh, I guess it is a yeah, 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 definitely. It's quite yeah, handy yeah. and overturned. Okay, all right, all right. I take it back. Yeah, do. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> can we find a glowing review that we well, can just have on? Let's go right to the top. To the top. Do you want to hear yeah. the best review? Gaming Age. What they give it? We're reading out 91%. Bloody. Running about six hours, this game is a lot of fun with a decent story and some great action-packed fights. If you haven't played either, I would recommend playing this first with the no. of last year's release. I mean, how do people feel about that? Do you think you should play this one first? No, I think you should play this one at all. I think you should play... <laughs> okay. I think, I think, honestly, go for the, uh, the new order. I think we should, order. we should probably... I mean, we're, we're leading on to quit and continue now, but we should remember that we did give the first one a continue. Yeah. And we, gave it a, we gave it a quit because two of us said continue and two of us said quit. Yes, you're right. I do remember now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say the, the, the first one. The first one had far more 
enjoyable bits to it and things like the gaming mechanics where Dave's going to go yeah <laughs> <laughs> the game mechanics the stuff the stuff that was negative okay, his, okay I'll go for, I might as well go for a quick continue right, the stuff the stuff that was negative in the first one I felt was amplified in this one because it didn't have the positive stuff in the, neg- in the first one so the first one I, I liked I liked a lot more of that kind of campy humour and a bit of the story and all that kind of stuff I did, I did like that and the the game accounts that pissed me off, I, I forgave it a little bit because of those things. And actually the shooting people, that was good fun. And so that stuff is still kind of in this game, but it doesn't have a load of the positive stuff that I wanted either. And it's just irritating. Those those sections where you're just like, chuck loads of people at you and you've just got... I just found it, I found it so cheap. The whole thing massively cheap. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely a quip for me. I kind of think if, if, if you really, really enjoyed... The first Wolfenstein, then fine, give the old blood a go because it's only it's cheap um, as, as something you just want to have a go at. But if you're someone who's new to Wolfenstein, leave this alone and just go for the first one and see how much you enjoy that because there's, there's really no point. It's not it doesn't offer anything new. It's just except for oh you can climb a wall. <laughs> you've got a pipe, well, Dave. You've got that's, a pipe. that's some good buying advice, actually. I would agree with that. I do always feel like buying advice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, this is what a review is, isn't it? It's, it's buying advice. You try it before you buy. <laughs> yeah. You know who you remind me of? Angela Rippon. <laughs> I've always I, said I, that. I, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I think that's a, that's a positive thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, um, as a rip and quit a continue. <laughs> Let's not go down that road. Right. It's a it's a continue. Sure. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, yeah, I completely understand uh, all your points you made. Actually, it, it's got it is an annoying game. It's like there's so many things where you when you come back come from the the new order to the, the old blood and you go oh well, I forgot how annoying these bits are and how cheap and and and, and it kind of it gives you a lot of sucker punches. But I think when you consider it's 12 quid, and there's a lot of content in here, don't shake your head. It's not 12 quid, it's about 15 quid. All right, 15 quid, uh, which is the Whiteman family budget for a month. <laughs> it's, probably, <laughs> it's probably the same price as what you pick up in the order. Just, just put that there. It'll probably be free on PS Plus in like three months' time. Or Do you anyway. know what? Who's talking here? I'm just, uh, I'm just saying it's where you're going, so I'm trying to change it. <laughs> I think I actually I actually did enjoy this game for the majority of it, and I actually I think it I think it's got very much a nice just, just shut up. With you. <laughs> uh, I, got, I think it's got a lot of good stuff in there. I think it, yes, it's massively uh, it's got massive problems. Uh, for a start, you can fucking pause. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not a reason to give a game continue. Turn out to fact, I can stop it for a while. <laughs> I think if you if you looked at this as a kind of an intro into into the, in the order and you, you sort of looked at different bits and pieces and you had a bit of a play around with it and you thought okay I wouldn't mind picking up the new order I think you didn't, you're going to you're gonna enjoy it I think I think there's, I think it's continue. I think it's continue, if, if this was 30, 40 quid I would say all day long quit but considering it's quite cheap you can pick it up whatever I'd say it's continue. excellent um, <laughs> <laughs> I completely disagree <laughs> <laughs> for me I mean I I, I I, I'm hope I'm right in saying that I gave the original one a uh, a quit anyway. Yeah, did, yeah. And uh, yeah, this one doesn't do anything to break that for me. It's um, Dave said it all for me really. It chucks you into unfair situation after unfair situation. It's not fun. It doesn't. There's nothing about it where I think this is brilliant. This is new. This is something special. It's just nothing in the game that I'm. And I felt myself just forced to play it in a way because I knew it was. I didn't even bloody well finish. I got to the last chapter and just couldn't be asked to be the boss. It's like I don't know. It's just. There's just nothing about it that, that feels to me that it's something that I've go, like, got to play. Especially when there's so much other better first-person shooters out on the market. Yeah, I get, I get your point on that. Changing Andy's mind. I did, I did, um, I did mm. kind of feel like if this was on... Again, if I, I haven't played on PC, so I can't really compare. But it it felt so designed for PC for me. Yeah. Having having yeah. done a lot of first-person shooters on PC. Alas, though, I cannot afford a thousand pound PC to uh, oh, to play the damn game at its at its most turned. <laughs> but turned no, up. I did I did I did kind of think like maybe my opinion would be different if I played on PC, but, but it felt so funky on console as well. Like just yeah, like uh, I mean that the the raid the dial things it's like your gun is just like so annoying. And that's only the smallest part of what's kind of annoying about the game in a way. I enjoyed this more than the order though. Game, yeah, right? but we also absolutely cane that to yeah, like in an energy of life. And, I, and actually, that, right, for I me, like those games, this, this game and The Order 1886 are exactly the same game. 
But I came through this what? game and... Well, like, in terms of like the way they play and everything like that, they just feel exactly the same to me. I, I can't I see I don't any... think that's true. I don't think that's true. I, I, I felt this game played, you know, I, I ripped through it. it was like, I preferred the order. It was quite fun. Get I'm out. out there. Oh, shut up. I I, honestly, I didn't, I didn't enjoy this. I think I, I didn't enjoy it at all. Actually, so you, there, were, there were so ve- there, there were so few moments where I thought I'm actually having fun here. The amount of times I was, I was when when Jen was around, I was thinking, this is bollocks. Why have I got to play this crap? Because why am I the shitty podcast? I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand <laughs> why this was so much worse than the new. Uh, really? The order. Yeah. The really. order because the order is core. No, 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 yeah. the, the new order. The, the, the first one. Oh, was I couldn't understand why I was because I actually I think I enjoyed the new order quite. A lot more. Yes. I definitely gave it a continue. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I certainly think there was a lot more points where I enjoyed it. But this, I was thinking, this there's not been a single moment here where I've thought of actually having fun. I feel like I'm just, I'm getting. Oh, not through. necessarily. Yeah, uh, I, I did. I don't enjoy. I didn't, I reckon I enjoyed seventy percent of it. No. I don't. I don't think you've enjoyed the game since Bloodborne. <laughs> no, I, was I think you probably never will. Right. I don't think I ever will. Bloodborne is really dead Dark Souls right. Three might come out soon. You never know. <laughs> yeah. So Mike. Uh, yeah, it's a quick for me. I mean, I say it falls into every cliche of first-person shooters, and doesn't, and that's fine because it's that's what it's setting out to do in a way. Yeah. But then it never ever tries to kind of break that mold even slightly and do anything that I've not seen before. I just, yeah. It's just not for me. It's a quick for me. A little Jack's corner. Yeah. So I, I actually quite enjoy. I I think I gave the first one a continue. I want. I think to we say fall that. into exactly the same yeah. pattern. Yeah. So for, so for me, this was a bit of dumb fun. The the price was a big deciding factor. If this had been a full price game, I would have no felt s- s- like it didn't offer any value at all. Yeah. But I seem to remember this is going back a bit now. But I seem to remember I criticised the first game for being too long because it, it stretched on for for ages. This is like five six hours. It's quite contained. You can rip through it. Have a, have a bit of fun. Nothing about it annoyed me that much. The, it's, I've got the same complaints about it I had with the first one. Mm. You know, picking up uh, ammo and stuff is really annoying. The introduction, the leading into the game with a stealth section was misjudged, I think. Because two, I, there's two chapters, though. That, that covers two chapters, isn't it? That, that uh, possibly. To a certain extent, yeah. But, mm. I mean, in, in the first game, there's a stealth section, but it's halfway through. It's when you go to that POW camp. Yeah. And that was really well done. And it broke up the action, but to, to lead into this with the stealth section was uh, yeah. quite misjudged, I think. But having said that, I really enjoyed it. I appreciate that this is, like I say, it felt like an expansion pack from the old days. And uh, a lot of, clearly a lot of work's gone into it. There's a lot of uh, new design, uh, you know, new weapons, new environments, etc. It's not a lazy yeah. cash-in by any means. Dave's pulling a face. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I, going back on the fact that, that I didn't think the the levels were particularly designed so that you were you were playing the level. It just felt like they chucked you into this map, and then loads of people were in there as well. It didn't it didn't really fit. <clears throat> so on, I, it, bear in mind they've already written the engine. Hmm. All they're doing is is designing. Uh, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what goes into designing games, <laughs> but, I but it's all these pull it out your ass. <laughs> yeah, but no. Oh, but, oh, but bear in mind, it's sort of like it looks a bit different, and you know, so I, I didn't. I, it wasn't. I, I agree. It wasn't a lazy cash in, but I, I wouldn't have expected any less from this. Okay. I think you got exactly what you expected from this game. I mean, played the first one. I got exactly what I was expected, and I it's wasn't more... expecting to sort any of the problems out. So... I wasn't. But, it was it, and Jack's right. It's a bit dumb fun, and uh, you know I think as long as you take all those caveats on board, it's it's worth a bit of a bash for for a tenner or whatever. It's more of the same. If you played the first game, you know what to expect with this one. The yeah. the whole pipe mechanic didn't really add anything. No, it was it did still section is crap. But honestly, yeah. would you would you choose to play this over? Say you hadn't played either. Yeah. Would you play this over the new order? Well, the new orders are more. Com- sorry, the I get Metro Twenty Thirty Three. Yeah, I got confused with the names. The new order is a more complete package, so I would play that. For, I would recommend people play that first, and then come to the system. Interest. But anyway, this, I digress. For me, not that it matters because under our weird system, <laughs> yeah, if, if the game. Set this rule so, it's not weird. So just to no, explain, our, sense, just yeah. to explain the way. Yeah, the two guys who gave it quick say, "Oh, it's fine. So don't worry about it." <laughs> just explain. No, so no, no, I, I guess, guess, saying I the game. I want to continue though. If we're saying the games are waste of time, and they, they literally, so these, but, these games are the ones that we, at least two of us don't like, so, so it, it should be a quit on that. But, well, we've had, we've completely dissected the game, so anyone watching this... rating, it's, it's continue, right? Well, actually, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no it totally is continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so if... It's it, a new category. If we, <laughs> if a game on quit continue gets two quits, then it's a, it's a quit. 
So it's me, and, me and Andy, yeah. like, you know, yeah, why are we even here? Don't matter. Yeah. yeah, thanks a lot. We, we can say it's make, dumb and we can say you, it's fun. But if you've actually sat through an hour of us waffling about this game, I'm sure you can decide for yourself whether you want to play it. Exactly. You can exactly. quit or continue. But The fact yeah, is so it's going to be in the residing in the quit section of the quit, website. Yeah, it's a quit yeah. and its decision's been made. This, I yeah. am, I'm, dis- I'm still disappointed that the first one isn't a continue because I actually think the first one did offer... Well, you gave it a quit. I gave it a continue. You gave it a quit. I, I, I gave it a continue as well. Yeah, yeah. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you are this one. It's worse than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, come, don't come to us for consistency <laughs> yeah. 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 the first thing about this game is it's cheap yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah fact, All right. we need to put a pin in this because yeah. I think it's uh, we're getting on there we're making people old as we're talking well, so um, <laughs> it only remains for me to say that this has been quit I continue Wolfenstein the old blood is a quit although a very close quit I have been uh, Mike Plant at what, Mike Plant GC. What are we playing next? Well, all right, we'll do that at the end. Yeah, we'll do that after. Okay. Hold your horses. Uh, well, I thought this sounds like a wrap up, in which case we will go oh, off. Uh, all right, we can do that now if you want. Really, it makes you yeah, feel happy. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, next time we're going to go back a little, back in time, very, very slightly to Assassin's Creed Unity. Ooh. We're going to go back to Ooh. Gay Paddy. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I'm a bloody Frenchman. Back at more forget. Sacre bleu! <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, look out for that. Um, but yeah, I have been Mike Plant at Mike Plant GC. This is Andy Lachlan. Uh, Media Squirrels at Media Squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is Dave Whiteman. At TLB Dave. And this has been Jack Turner. At QRC Jack. I've got very few Twitter followers, so, uh, <laughs> you know. Charity Jack, we yeah. call him. All right, that until. Was desperate. And it was desperate. That was desperate. Please like me. Plum the death. <laughs> so, until next time, this has been Quite a Continue, and we are out. Bye. 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 Bye.